What's up? Welcome back to a new vlog. We are getting ready to take Kelly for a walk. She's so excited right now that I wanted to get a new vlog kicked off and get started. We're still in Argentina. His parents left and we're trying to tell them that we're taking Kelly, so they're not shocked. I don't even know what I was saying. I just wanted to get a new vlog kicked off. We're still in Argentina, so if you missed it, we've been in Argentina for a little over a week now. Uh, by the time that you watched this, it would have been like wrapping up the whole trip. This is part two of our Buenos Aires Argentina trip, so we would have been here for about like two weeks total. Oh, it's so much fun. I'm so excited for the next week ahead. Take you along with all the exciting stuff that we're going to be doing, or maybe low key too. The last vlog was pretty low key which was a lot a lot of fun but anyways it's starting to get a little bit darker outside so let's head on out Kelly are you excited let's go what's happening out here it's loud construction no, garbage garbage uh. 100% and off she goes she started running booking it booking it so yeah today is Monday it's October third and it's what time is it i don't even know like 6 p.m maybe close to seven close I to think. seven yeah. oh <laughs> a lot later than i thought his mom is gonna make homemade empanadas tonight <sighs> babe we haven't had empanadas yet i said apart from the wedding we had like those miniature yeah. empanadas yes. but other than that i'm surprised we have not had empanadas yet or pizza argentine pizza wednesday wednesday yes Juan just made plans with Juanchi. You guys would have seen him in the other vlog if you guys watched. He's the one that said he wanted to be in the vlog. <laughs> but we're going over to his house on Wednesday and he's gonna make, make or buy? No, pizza we are going to buy. Buy, okay. Buy some Argentine pizza, which I'm really excited about. And then we're thinking about going shopping tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait, we still have a full week. It's too short. Too short. I know now that it's like springtime here, the weather, as as the days are going by, I feel like the weather's getting progressively better. It's less freezing. Well, the first couple of days were Exactly. But yeah. the, the more we're here, the better it's getting. <laughs> Watch out guys, we're just gonna end up moving here. You never know. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a year here learning my Espanol. <laughs> you better start. I better start. I am actually getting better. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't know if it's, I know not a lot. Like I was saying, I don't know a ton of Spanish, but I feel like already, babe, from the time that I've been here, I'm learning a lot more words. Okay, that's good. And when Juan Chi, actually your brother, when Jose was talking the other day, uh -huh. I understood two full sentences, <laughs> he said. Like full sentences, not just like bits and pieces. I see. So, we're getting better. Oh, babe, Kelly. <gasps> Oh. Callie's such an easy dog to walk. So easy. Babe, you're gonna be up to the challenge if we get a dog to train them. <laughs> just like Callie. I love the houses in this neighborhood. Yeah, they're pretty. They're just like so pretty, all of them. Are they gonna get a new water? It's gonna be one more. Oh. Uh, does it get delivered like weekly or something? Yeah. Let's close it up to the other. Look at those. Yum. Yeah. Oh, there's already more over here. This one is meat. 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 Mm. So, how do you know? Because they... You put it? Yes. I see. Different. I see. This is 
<laughs> she made them. <laughs> onion and cheese. Onion and cheese. And so? Jam and cheese. <laughs> jam, 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 jam. Mm -hmm. No fork. No fork. I could fix it. <laughs> what? Yeah, How you, do you do it? You can, you can. You can use it. Yes, if it is too hot, don't cut. Press. I know. <laughs> For the yes. There you go. <laughs> The Argentine way. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Carne. Bife de vaca. Bife de cow. Human meat. Pago hot. shower and washed my hair that was like well overdue <laughs> i always push the limits on that one but it felt incredible i also picked up this room a little bit but um juan's parents house cleaner is here today so i think that they're gonna come in and at least like make the bed and all that sort of stuff which is really nice but this room was the biggest mess there's just like stuff everywhere so it took some time to pick it up but yeah after this i need to like work for a little bit luckily some of like the main things that i thought i was gonna have to do while i was here ended up getting canceled <laughs> so that frees up some time which is very nice this afternoon we wanted to go to the mall but juan overnight kind of got sick and he had a fever he ended up going um, into another room <laughs> but his sister was a little sick and then for the sunday family lunch if you guys remember from the last um argentina vlog she was there she was a little sick before coming but when she came she was testing negative for covid and she was pretty much through the woods so whatever little cold she had it looks like Juan got it. I'm fine as of now, so let's just hope it stays that way. Really don't want to get sick on a vacation. I feel bad for Juan that he's feeling like that. He says he's feeling better. But anyways, long story short, we'll see how he's feeling later today and if we are still going to go out. I hope so. It'd be nice to get out of the house today. I don't, otherwise, I don't know what's planned for today. My schedule here in Argentina, it's so funny. I wake up like at 10, I sleep in and I just naturally wake up at 10, which still works for Pacific time because it's what, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 a.m. I think. So work-wise, nobody's awake and it's nice that I can actually vacation, like sleep in and all that sort of stuff. So because I've been waking up so late, I've been kind of like teetering every single day, whether or not I wanna have breakfast. Some days I do. Other days I don't, like today I don't think I'm gonna have breakfast. I think I'm just gonna go straight into lunch. Those empanadas though last night, those homemade empanadas, those were amazing. There's some leftover ones, so I'm curious if we're gonna have that for lunch or go out for lunch. Juan's mom has been cooking us meals like every day, which has just been like so sweet, not needed at all. I mean, I could just go out and get stuff, but Juan's a little mama's boy. He loves it. So a little like makeup just in case we do go out later to the mall. I'll be all ready to go. And then as far as like my eyebrows go, I had a couple of you guys ask me questions about it. Like how I get like the feathered look. And this is how I do it. So I use this got to be glued. It's like a hair styling gel. You can get like these travel size ones off of Amazon. So it's just like perfect to throw in your makeup bag and you don't need like the massive one. And I get these disposable spoolies. And then once I put it in, I use the other side, the side to flatten it against my skin. And then I take the top of the spoolie right here and kind of like shape it a little bit better. Some days are better than others because we're dealing with sisters, not twins. But for the most part, 
it works. And I love the look of this. It makes my eyebrows look fuller and lifted. I just, I love the structure of it so much. I also think it's really important to take a little bit of concealer and go underneath them because it adds to the shaping and the lifting of it as well. And then depending on my mood, for sure, like when I do a full face of makeup, I'll fill it in. But sometimes I don't. It's just depending on my mood of what I really want to do. But I'll take the dip brow pomade and I use the color soft brown and I would fill in just like a few of the gaps. I'll do it right now just for the purpose of showing you. So I'll take one of the Anastasia brushes. This is the number 12 brush and I dip a little bit and then I use the back of the cap spread it get a little less product on the brush itself and it's usually towards the front that they're sparse i need to fill in and towards my arch i'm gonna lightly go everywhere else when the product has thinned out only a little bit so it still looks really natural okay i'm gonna finish up here and we'll go downstairs Made a mess. Oops. <laughs> Leaving the house again, round two. We went out earlier walking to go get lunch and gelato. As you guys would have seen, we went and got pancho, which is like a Spanish hot dog with your choice of sauces on top. I just ended up getting like a a four blend queso which is delicious and then Juan got like a spicy one and something else ah oh, my first pancho and i would have to say it's muy delicious is that a thing <laughs> and then stopped and got some gelato and then we came back and worked a little bit and now we're off again i changed my shirt and put on a jacket instead of the vest just to be like a little bit warmer but now we're off to the mall. The mall. The mall. Does it have any stores that I'm going to recognize or is it all like local brands <clears throat> and stuff? I mean, there's some stuff that you're going to recognize. Great. Well, we'll see what it's all about. Bring it along with. How far away is it? Like 20 minutes? Yeah, it's not that far away. 15 minutes. Cool. Exciting. First like official shopping day. Very excited about this right now. What do you think? <laughs> I think they're going to, but they are no, 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 no. no. Do you need help? Be strong. Good afternoon. 
So we're heading out to go find and eat Milanesas. That's our lunch for today. also gonna go to the museum of River Plate too which should be a lot of fun like I'm interested in actually learning about the history of River Plate so I'm very very excited this is more oh I think I'm gonna say this wrong is this more closer to downtown it is it is right from where we are right now uh -huh. okay so we're heading more towards downtown Buenos Aires right now I don't know what else we're gonna get into today we'll see We'll see, we'll see. But it's a nice adventure out. And then last night, oh my God, we had, hang on, going over some bumps. Oh, oh. We went over to his friend Juanchi's house with a bunch of like his guy friends were there. And we had Argentine pizza, which is like, without a doubt, or maybe people might argue, but it's one of like the best types of pizza. Babe. Seriously, how do they make it so delicious, like so cheesy without being greasy and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Like the most delicious. But yeah, we just did that. I didn't really film any of it, but that's what we were up to last night. I'm in love with my outfit today. I'll have to show it like when I get out of the car, but it's like this crop sweater with some black trousers and this black and gold belt. It's really cute. Are going to a McDonald's. I am dying to try McDonald's in Argentina. I'm a big McDonald's fan. So let's see what this is all about. But we were talking about it in the car, and it's like it's like an experience here. It's like a fancier thing in Argentina or in other countries, except for the US. They have like a whole cafe and everything. It's so nice. All the ones I've seen. <laughs> Verdict? A plus plus? <laughs> yeah, it is really similar to the U.S. I would say that it's less greasy. Like both the hamburger and the french fries seem less greasy and that the portions are smaller. Like oh, the medium coke yeah, 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 look yeah. like a small coke. Yeah, it's yeah. Easy. For sure. For sure. For show. Um, so now, of course, after a meal, we have to go get some helado. Helado? <laughs> Ice cream. Argentine ice cream. So there's a place that Juan has been wanting to go that I believe you've heard your friends talk about, correct? You don't know where you're going? No, I wanted to go there, but that says that it's a... Uh... Can't enter? No, it doesn't have an end. Oh, it's a, it's a dead end. Dead end. 
shoot. Yep. Yeah, because the place is on this side. What you gonna do? No, because I wanted to go you. all up for the inside street. I know what you're gonna do. Um, Made sense. Um, but yeah, I think Juan's heard about this place before. It looked nice when we drove past it. So we're gonna go check it out. And he's heard that the ice cream there is absolutely delicious. It's like one of my favorite things here is that literally everybody after eating, they always get a dessert. Is this gonna work? Let's see. They always get a dessert. After every meal, you have a dessert. Oh, it's pretty common. Something. <clears throat> could be a fruit. Yeah, it could be a fruit. Your dad always has a dessert after every meal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall. Don't fall. The driving here is on another level. It's like there's rules, but there's not. And the best way that I can describe it is I feel like it's all about playing chicken, you know? There's no like four-way stops. Sorry, am I in your way? There's no like four-way stops. And so everybody is just like in the middle of an intersection and it's like, who's gonna stop first? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> like you get so close sometimes to people like, ah! Exactly that. <laughs> I'm obsessed with all of these trees on all of the roads. They like shape the road, you know? Oh, here's the place, right? Yeah, this place, this ice cream place is where we're going. Boop. Just need to find parking. I'm getting dressed to go out to like a family dinner, like Juan's immediate family with his mom, dad, brother, and sister. And I guess his sister's um, boyfriend as well. I liked the trouser outfit that I had on earlier, but I was thinking about wearing this instead, like just switching up the top, kind of like an all black outfit. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear these sneakers that I've been wearing like the whole trip, which could be cute. Let me put one on or my pandas since I kind of have like a black outfit thing going maybe a black and white could be cute but with the belt it's a little bit more dressy and those are more casual and this is like a little bit better I think the pandas make it look a little weird okay this is what we got this room is a mess again and then a jacket I definitely need one. I guess just the one I've been wearing the whole time only brought two jackets. I really should have brought like a puffer jacket, but it's all right. Not gonna lie, I ended up taking a little nap when we got back. But I also like uploaded all of um, the footage I had thus far and started to get it a little bit organized as well. Um, 7.45, I think we're gonna leave at eight. So I'm gonna go downstairs just to be with everyone and I think start a book. I was reading, what is this? Her name is Night, which I'm only 33 pages into it and if I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of, it's kind of making me fall asleep. I like, I can't get into it for some reason. I still like wanna read a little bit more but uh, I'm gonna move on to a different book. And I'm thinking I'm gonna read Better Than The Movies. It's kind of a young adult, romance kind of book that I'm so into and I've heard good things about it so we're gonna go down there start this book read it that's what we're doing oh I guess I cannot forget to put some perfume on mm, the lighting in here is so much better more perfume just cover myself in it I really like this top because it is kind of like a semi sheer it's not totally sheer but you can see like the outline of my bralette so it goes with like the see-through trend but not like all the way um, i really like it 
Teşekkür ederim. Love me some dry shampoo. I alternate between this mirror and this mirror because this mirror is too high. I'd have to stand on my tippy toes <laughs> to see myself. But this mirror is lower. Okay, so we're getting ready to go out to lunch with some of our friends. These are actually friends that I went to a wedding in Miami a few years back, but they're also here for that same wedding that I went to and they're still here. So we're gonna get together for lunch right now. I don't even know what time it is. I feel like I'm running late. We're supposed to get together at like 12.15. After this, we need to go pick out my outfit and do that. But then later, we're gonna go to like tea time with his cousin again and cute little Olivia. I think Maria Juan's sister is gonna come with us to that. And then like a barbecue much later in the day. So just to like scope it out for you what today has in store. Let's do my hair. I got this straightener right before I left. It's the T3 travel one. It has been like a lifesaver because I usually travel with my Dyson cordless one, but it's so massive and it's so heavy. I don't know why I didn't think to buy like a travel straightener sooner. You guys, it's, it's embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> I was had so many issues with the Dyson one, either airports not knowing it was a hair straightener, so like my baggage, like my bag would always be selected to look at it and then they would like inspect it. They're like, what is this? And I put it in my carry-on instead of my check bag because it's legit over five pounds. Like it's insane. So anyways, I'm very happy that I decided to get a travel straightener and this one is just like so good. I can't see my hair. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I feel like I have low energy right now and I need to somehow find energy to get me through the day. Today is also Friday. I'm not gonna log into work at all today, I've decided. I'm pretty much beyond caught up on everything. But yeah, we only have a couple more days, guys. Like, no. How does the back look? I can't see it. I feel like it always looks a little. Mm. That's all right. I think I'm gonna wear this. This Aritzia sweater tank top with my goldie jeans. The only thing I need to decide is what shoes. It's really nice outside, so I can maybe get away with wearing sandals, or I can just wear like my Nikes. Hmm. You guys see? What do you think? I mean, it's really nice out. I also forgot to show you the stuff that I got when we went to the store the other day. Let's see here for a second. Okay, so I got some glassware. I've been like extra drawn to home stuff and glassware and stuff like that. And I don't know why it's like one of my favorite things to get like when I'm in another country. I don't really like shop for clothes or anything. I always just like shop for home stuff. There's these candles. I think I keep mentioning it that I need to go back and get. So we'll get those soon. But I got two different types of glasses in a four set of each. First, these are all packaged up, so I'm not gonna unpackage it 100% because it's like already ready to go for traveling back home. But I got some drinking glasses that look like this. Oh, I love it. It's just like a little bit fancier, even if you're just gonna have water in it. Like, I don't know, I love it. And then the wine glasses are absolutely beautiful. Here is what the wine glasses look like. They have kind of like an iridescent look to it, but also like a, I don't know, like a sheen to it that's um, it's not coming off the same on camera, but in person it's kind of like a gold. Oh, when the light hits it, it's beautiful. And it's like a really long stem. Oh, I'm so in love with these. I just love like how big they are too, you know? So this is really the only things that we've gotten so far. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put this like, oh, you scared me. 
I'm gonna put this in my carry-on when we go home. Come in. I was just showing the stuff that we got when we went shopping. It's hot. It's hot? Yeah. Okay, so I guess that kind of like decides for me. I was trying to decide whether or not to wear sandals or sneakers. I guess I'm wearing sandals. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just need to put on some deodorant and some perfume. Although I need to shave my armpits. They're kind of bad. <laughs> Babe, are you going to wear shorts? No. No? You just said it was hot. It is. Not hot enough for shorts? What are they on the feet? Perfect. You buy it. You buy it with perfect. You buy it. Baby. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I get it. It's a baby baby. Yeah. How's this? Great. Don't get me sick. Too late. Mm -hmm. Okay, get up because I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go pee before I leave. <laughs> with lunch and we went to this cathedral right here but there was this little street fair that we're gonna go walk over to what part of town is this babe San Isidro. say it on the camera San Isidro. okay thanks there yeah it's cute it's like a smaller town vibe like a little bit older I like it okay where are we at now babe Peru Beach. Peru Beach? Yeah. We'll go with that. It's cute. The restaurant thing behind us, but then there's like a little dock that you can see the river. Is this a river? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shows you how much I know, right? But there's tons of like activities going on out there. Look at that. All of the activities. Caesar. Yes, sir. Salmon. This is mine. Andres. Oh. And those are the pancholes. Yum. Heading out, you guys. Tomorrow is our last day. But as of right now, we're heading off to go to a lunch. Kind of like a farewell lunch. What did you say? What? Kind of like a farewell lunch. Yeah. It's our last like big one with all of like his friends. I did not vlog at all. I feel like the last couple of days. It was nice to kind of just like chill a little bit. And I was like crazy tired. I think I slept for over 12 hours last night. I went to bed at like eight or nine and then I woke up at Nine. Anyway, let's go. The weather is semi-confusing. It's really sunny today. I know, but it's still, it's gonna be cold. Cold. So I'm confused of what to even wear today. So I have on like this polo button-up shirt, but then I brought a spare shirt, like a tank. That's a lie. A bodysuit t-shirt <laughs> to wear or to change into just in case. 
feel like I'm oh, here. <laughs> too hot on the way there. I don't know, I'm gonna have to make my decision because it would be weird to like enter in one shirt and be like, BRB, I'm hot. I brought an extra shirt I'm gonna go change into. Yeah, that's cool, that's fine. It's a little weird. Not for long, that's for sure. You can make me feel like, right? You handed it to me. Yes. That is like, babe, you need to chill. No. Chill with the Invisalign. You just handed it to me two seconds ago. Yeah, but the problem is I'm There's so hungry and I'm thinking, can I even remove this shit? No, you can't remove it yet. <laughs> I mean, we have a little bread. <laughs> oh! Come back, Kali. <laughs> Immediately ran away. I know your tricks. Our last time walking Kali, babe. No. Tomorrow you're going to? Tomorrow morning? Let's go. Back home and relaxing. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. We still have another day left, but I'm just gonna spend it with friends and family without recording anything. So thank you guys so much for watching and spending two weeks with me in Argentina. I'll see you back home for even more content, more hauls, more vlogs. I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.